For me as a winemaker, I've got to realize that what I grow and what I put into the bottle has got to be quality. There's no compromise. But in selling wine here in South Africa and around the world, it's so much about the stories on the outside of the bottle. Waterford Estate um, has a few points of difference. I think primarily its location. We've worked with what we've had on the property, so all the timber, all the stone used in the building actually comes from the property itself. As you drive up the driveway, as you enter the gates almost, you get a sense that this is a special place. Never mind the fact that once you sit down and start tasting the wines, you know that you're also tasting something in your glass that, that has been made in a very special way. At Waterford Estate, we grow and make great wines. The gem, a blended red wine, is something we are truly proud of, a world-class wine. To enhance our offering to our guests, we've incorporated and established different wine experiences. The first being the wine and chocolate experience. This idea I got when traveling back from California, and after reading an article all about the cocoa bean, I realized that there was great similarity between what the cocoa bean produces and what the red wine skin does in making great red wines. We went further, we're taking people out on wine drives through the vineyards where we open the wine in the vineyards where they're grown. So as a special destination, I think we offer a service-driven brand. We are fortunate enough to have people visit us from many, many countries around the world. The wine drive exposes you to all three senses. You can see, you can smell, and you can hear what is going on in the vineyard. And also now more recently, uh, people can take a walk through the property, through the Feinbos, through the vineyards. Just in walking in amongst the Feinbos, you realize the huge diversity in plant life that you can experience. And I think also getting people to get out of the tasting room, away from the winery, and realize that uh, South Africa, and in particular Stellenbosch, and yet Waterford, we truly live in some of the most beautiful vineyard land in the world. And for me as a resident, I can take guests around the property and, and show them that we have a very fine understanding of the balance between nature and agriculture. So from day one, from 1999, when we opened our winery to receive our own grapes, we started celebrating the harvest. So in celebrating the harvest, it's really about getting people to come and pick grapes, put them into a bin, and eventually take off their socks and shoes and trample them, the old traditional way. And that is a special occasion uh, for the two families that has uh, really, I think, become part of the Waterford way. It's a great privilege to be the winemaker at Waterford. Uh, Waterford is situated in one of the most unique spots for red wine making, and also the privilege to work with people that are dedicated to making the best wines in South Africa. The brand has been developed. I think it's been born through passion, through a real love and respect uh, of what we have here at Waterford Estate. There's nothing more rewarding than actually walking the land, especially when you work the soil, plow the soil and, and plant, and then watching nature take over and, and ensure that your plants grow into strong vines. I guess there are very few jobs in the world where you start from scratch every year. The great thing about winemaking is that you live the vintage and then the vintage lives with you for the rest of your life.